hello everyone welcome back to my channel again so hope you are all doing well this is mathematics for CSE branch okay third semester video <clears throat> it is the model question paper so let me handle uh, today in this video the question of uh, the probability over there okay so the question is a random variable x has the following probability function of various values of x so x is given and it is uh, respective probability is also given okay 0 k 2 k 2 k 3 k like that okay so what you have to find in this uh, you have to find out the value of find the value of k and evaluate probability of x less than 6 probability of 0 uh, less or equal less than 7 less than x less than 5 okay and p of x is greater or equal to 6 these probabilities you have to calculate okay so in the examination you have to write like this let x be the random variable for the random values this one x1 is equal to 0 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 2 x4 is equal to sorry x4 is equal to 3 x5 is equal to 4 x6 is equal to 5 x7 is equal to 6 x8 is equal to 7 that is what i have written here okay this is the first step next it is probabilities are also given okay so probability of x is equal to x1 means simply i can write probability of zero so x1 is zero over here so i can write probability of zero is equal to what is the probability of zero it is given zero right then probability of x is equal to x2 like that i have to written i have to write here x2 is equal to one so i can write probability of one is equal to what is the probability one of one is equal to k now simply i can write probability of x3 which is nothing but probability of two is equal to probability of two is 2k right then probability of x4 i can write down probability of 3 is equal to what is the probability of 3 it is 2k right then p of x5 which is nothing but 4 p of 4 is equal to 3k then probability of x6 which is nothing but probability of 5 is equal to k square right probability of x7 is equal to probability of 6 is equal to what is the probability of 6 that is 2k square then probability of x8 is equal to probability of 7 which is equal to 7k square plus k now what we have to uh, what we call calculate find the value of k so let me calculate first the value of k so you should know the formula so we know that we know that the summation of i running from 1 to n is equal to p of x is equal to xi is equal to 1 so probability of uh, summation of probability is always equal to 1 okay what is the n value here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so it is 8 over here sorry uh, you don't have to count this 0 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 is the value okay summation of i running from 1 to 7 which is equal to probability of x is equal to xi should be equal to 1 means you have to sum these probabilities like 0 plus k plus 2k plus sorry 2k again plus 3k plus k square plus 2k square plus 7k square plus k so you have to add these terminologies over here okay so this is k plus 2k 3k 5k 8k this is 9k which is equal to 9k and also this k square plus 2k 3k square plus 7k square that is 10k square plus 9k is equal to 1 it should be always equal to 1 so sum of probabilities should always be 1 you might be aware from the pu itself okay it is in the pu also the summation of probabilities is always equal to 1 so i can write here 10k square plus 9k this minus 1 i can write is equal to 0 now in order to split this equation so that i can get k value so i can write it k 10k square plus i can write here 10k minus 1k it is always 10k minus 1k is 9k so i should get uh, once uh, you are splitting the term you should get this term 10 into 1 that is 10 you should get in the multiplication and if you just sum or subtract uh, these two terms over here you should get 9k so 10k minus 1k is 9k and you should get this multiple here 10 into 1 10 so 10 into 1 is 10 okay i hope uh, you are knowing the splitting part over there okay so which is equal to sorry this minus 1 is also here is equal to 0 then i can take 10k common from here what i will get k plus 1 over here okay 10k into k 10k square plus 10k into 1 is 10k minus 1 i can take common from here k plus 1 i can write is equal to 0 minus 1 into k is minus k 
minus plus minus 1 into 1 is 1 okay hope you are following this now in order to calculate k value let me proceed it further so see here it is your 10 k minus 1 okay and k plus 1 k plus 1 i can take common so k plus 1 is equal to 0 i can write 10 10 k minus 1 is equal to 0 and k plus 1 is equal to 0 either this or this is 0 either this is 0 okay so 10 k k is equal to this minus 1 if i shift on the right hand side 1 this 10 will get divided so k is equal to 1 upon 10 so k is equal to minus 1 this should not be the case so k is not equal to minus 1 only k value should be positive so that uh, i can get uh, the summation as 1 in the probability okay <clears throat> so k is equal to 1 upon 10 is the value so this is our first part is over find the value of k is over now what we have to calculate probability of x less than 6 see here you have to calculate probability of x less than 6 x less than 6 means uh, this one probability of 0 probability of 2 probability of uh, 3 probability of 4 probability of 5 so in order to get it short i can uh, give you the formula for it so now we have to calculate probability of x less than 6 so better to uh, write down the table again see here this is your x 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now you have to calculate probabilities also uh, you have you have calculated the k value okay i can write here the k value 0 this is your k value is 1 by 10 means 0 0.1 i can write okay uh, so 2k for 2k i can write 0 0.2 okay i hope you are getting so this is your 0 0.2 this is your 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.1 0 0.02 0 0.17 once you calculate these you have to just put the k value in this box you will get these values 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 point like like that okay so that it will become easy for you to calculate these values like a probability of x less than 6 so what is the formula of less than 6 you can simply put formula 1 minus probability of x greater or equal to 6 whatever the values are greater than 6 means uh, greater or equal to 6 means 6 and 7 you have to eliminate rest of the probabilities you will get p of x less than 6 okay hope you are getting 1 minus probability of x greater than 6 it uh, it includes what probability of 6 and plus probability of 7 okay so 1 minus what is the probability of 6 value see here 0 0.02 0 0.02 plus probability of 7 is 0 0.17 okay so you will get probability of x less than 6 is equal to 1 minus this term you will get 0 0.81 as the answer in this case okay so next question is p of 0 less or less than x less than 5 so i can write second part here probability of 0 less than x less than 5 it can be read as x greater than 0 less than 5 means 1 2 3 4 up to uh, 4 value we have take we have to take so probability of 1 probability of 2 not 0 it is x greater than 0 less than 5 so plus probability of 3 plus probability of 4 so i can simply write over here so what is the probability of 1 it is 0 0.1 plus probability of 2 is 0 0.2 plus probability of 3 is again 0 0.2 plus probability of 4 is 0 0.3 so i will get 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.8 i will get in this case okay this is your 0 less than x less than 5 then number third is probability of x greater or equal to 6 probability of x greater or equal to 6 means you have to take probability of simply 6 plus probability of uh, sorry 7 yes probability of 6 is 0 0.02 and this is your probability of 7 is 0 0.17 so you will get 0 0.19 answer over here x is greater or equal to 6 so this is all about the first question of the probability that is the random variable x has the following probabilities okay you, you are supposed to calculate the value of k and uh, evaluate these the probability of x less than 6 and uh, p of x is greater than 0 less than 5 and p of x is greater or equal to 6 i hope it is clear to you people make sure you will share this video to all your friends batchmates so that they can also i will benefit from these type of videos so thank you for watching my video all the best for your examinations Thank you.